girl. Mm -mm. Hey, y'all. Let me get my stuff set up. This is my tamarind. I, I got a song. I want to try to my books. I'm going to show y'all what I've been reading and what I bought. All right, y'all. Um, Hold on. All right, girl. It is Sunday. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. So, y'all, it's Sunday. It's time for another chit chat. It's a lot going on. This chit chat is going to be long, <laughs> at least 30 minutes. Um, this has this has swine in it. So, and I drink my wine in the straw because, mm -hmm. y'all, in this chit chat video, I will be t detangling my hair because when I tell you. The weather here in Texas has been so disrespectful. It has been hot. It has been humid. We need rain. Okay, we really do need some rain. Let me take this down some y'all. I'm not trying to be fast, but it's choking me. Uh, when I mean hot, like I think one day it was like 102. It was it's been in the three degree weather. Okay, and my hot has my hot my hair has been out in the out in the climate and it has not been doing that good the last wash day was horrible it was actually the previous hair related video and i used that perhaps it just didn't work well on my hair it was the cream of nature it was that diaper in a in a bottle um i'm pretty sure it would work well on some other i feel like that particular product works well with 2c through 3c Mm, not well for me y'all hold on let me um, wash my glasses off i have on different glasses you don't know i have like five or six specs and i switch them out and i switched them out recently i switched from my pink ones to these is this bluer y'all okay so anyway i gotta put this down so girl let's talk about let's talk about what's going on in my personal life well oh yeah so i bought my hair so my hair is dry i've been washing my hair on a monthly basis because my scalp i have a fairly healthy scalp meaning i don't have any issues with dandruff i don't have any issues with buildup because i rarely style my hair um i rarely do i don't use a lot of products on my hair so i don't get buildup and i don't have a flaming scalp i don't work out because i, I i'm just i just want to be fluffy and lovely um get to the point I'm going to detangle my hair using the African Pride Moisture Miracle. I know a lot of people, this is on the fence. This is a hit or miss. I know that buzz me. I'm not going to say no names, but my girl Antoinette, she 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 don't really ride with this. She, she, she don't really care for this, but it's okay. I like it. I don't love it, but I like it, and it works for me, okay? Let's start off with a song. So, you know, I got this, I got this tambourine, and so I'll be trying to figure out what songs, what secular song can I play and with the tambourine i mean we did nook if you bug and it really didn't do that well so uh, let me let me tell you something y'all bear with me i'm silly and i've had some some alcohol in me so i was listening to pretty ricky and the beginning of pretty pretty Rick, ricky age ain't nothing but a number it had almost like a gospel hymn to it bear with me hear me out let me, let me just play it for you you see this is like old school gospel Y'all remember Pretty Ricky? Age ain't nothing but a number. See? It ain't nothing but a number. So, you know, I was doing my little trick and I was like, oh, this is not. Yeah, we, we just we just figured it out. Yeah, I'm silly. So let's go ahead and take this hair down so y'all can see what we're getting into. I'm also gonna be using my um what do you call it oh y'all that mist what do you call it y'all what am i trying to say steamer because when i tell you i need it look at this look look i mean girl so we're gonna go ahead and section it off um yeah so let's go right into it y'all personal life um August is my August birthday. August is my birthday. It was my birthday two weeks ago. Happy birthday to Maureen out in Belgium. You know, hey sis, happy um, 21st birthday to you. <laughs> I know I have some uh, other August birthdays, even if you, even though you're not a Leo. Um, we didn't do anything on my birthday. And quiet as it kept, I actually forgot about my birthday. I've been so busy with work and school starting for my child that 
I didn't do anything and you guys I turned 44 and I forgot even how old I was turning I don't feel 44 I feel like I'm in my 30s and I know I look it too but I'm so glad and so blessed to see another year because when I tell you every other day when I get online I see news from someone else that's passing away and I mean young people are passing away like so many young people are either passing away from cancer cancer is up there cancer um a car accident um a well-known rapper passed away from what an ambulism oh, I, I know i'm not you know saying it's basically where a, where a blood clot travels up to your lungs i don't know if, if this happened to this individual but he passed away suddenly um meaning it was unexpected and so absolutely i am very grateful and blessed to see another year okay so didn't do anything like i said but i thank god for allowing me to keeping me here um because he didn't have to do it okay so for my birthday i always i'm the type of person i buy stuff on my birthday yeah let me put this camera right away i buy stuff for myself on my birthday so what did you buy girl i've been buying books what else and i'm gonna show y'all that and i purchased i'm gonna go ahead and change this out i have an apple watch and, nor, and honestly, this Apple Watch, the main reason why I got this hoe, excuse me, y'all, is to find my dang on phone and I get my work notifications on here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch this out and show y'all what I purchased. Okay. So how y'all been doing? How's the first week of school going for y'all who still have babies in school? Yeah, I'd be so happy to see these babies on the first day of school. Now, I'm not the type, excuse me, I am not the type to post my child's first day of school and do the pictures. I don't do that. I, cause I, that's not me. I, I, overall, I'm pretty, I'm a, I'm a private person, y'all. Um, I post on Instagram the most and it's mostly just silly pictures or, or just, you know, other stuff. But I rarely share my personal life. Um, it's mostly JB or I. I share stuff with my husband rarely. Uh, what's the point? So I didn't post anything about the first day of school and him having a sign. Because that's just not me. But what I did announce is that JB has a black male teacher. When I tell you, y'all, I could almost tear up. Do you know how rare that is to have a black teacher? I think that black men... Black males as teachers make up less than 3% of the population. Now, when I was in school, of course, we had tons of black teachers. I mean, our principal was was black, a black man. He would walk around the hallway with a huge ass paddle. <laughs> uh, let me stop it. So we're going to get back to the first week of school. But let me show you all the stuff I've been buying about in regards to my birthday. Excuse me. So I bought this cute little Apple bracelet. I know it's really bluey but isn't this cute y'all look at the charms there's a chanel bottle it's black and gold just cute 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 so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on that's simple and y'all i have smaller wrist oh hell wait a minute wait wait is this plastic i gotta take this off Okay, we ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. So let me tell y'all some other stuff I've been buying. Of course, I bought some books. And let me show you what I've been reading real quick. So everything we don't say, we didn't say. I'm still reading this. Honestly, I could finish this. If I wanted to, I could finish this in a day because I'm a fast reader. Uh, but I want to take my time and savor it. Sometimes I go back and reread things. So in addition to that, I purchased The Silent Patient. And then I purchased Sometimes I Lie. So I want to, my goal is to finish a book every month. I've been on this dang on book all summer long. I need to stop playing. Um, but since I'm going to be doing some stuff after school with JB, I will have time to read. So another, some other things I purchased is that I've been working from home, you guys. I know remotely, working remotely became very popular during COVID and even after COVID to the point to where a lot of companies and organizations have started to have a work from home um, uh, option. But I've been working remotely for, gosh, going on 10 years. No, yeah, going on 11 years, actually. So I decided to give myself some things to help me, or not necessarily help me, to, but to make work from home funner because honestly, it could get a little redundant, okay? So let me show y'all some stuff I purchased. Let me back up some. 
So I got these cute little colorful keyboards. Um, they're wireless keyboards. Oh, along with a keyboard holder. Oh my God, y'all. So I'll pull out each one. JB was like, oh, I got one. You don't have a job. None of these are for you. So I got this baby blue one. Isn't this cute? And it comes with, each one comes with its own mouse. Okay. Then, <clears throat> of course, I got purple because purple is my favorite color. I got this purple one. Isn't that cute? And this is the mouse that goes with that. And then I purchased this one about, it's been about two months, but I'll show y'all anyway. It's a soft pink. I'm going to put this on here. But it has like some cocoa and just different colors. Isn't this beautiful? It's cute, not beautiful. And this is the mouse with that. Excuse me. Ooh. All right, y'all. If I don't wash my hair tomorrow, at least do it the next day. Because I don't think I have meetings. Yeah, see, now I'm getting confused. Let me check my schedule, y'all. School started. It is crazy. When I tell you the schools are absolutely... I don't know what it is. I don't know if the summer went by so fast and these schools are not in order, but... My son's school, they're still trying to get things together. And look, come to find out, JB was saying how he doesn't think they have homework. They don't have homework. Now, for someone who homeschooled for a certain amount of time, like two years, I can see the benefits and the, well, let me just put it like this. I can see the pros and cons of homework because I feel like with the homework, you've already told these children, you know, they're already in school for what, five, six hours of work. And then you want them to come home. They're tired and spend another 30 minutes to an hour doing work. So this school doesn't have homework. However, if the student does not finish their work at school, then that work becomes homework. I'm okay with that. I really am. So the school is a new school for JB. It's under the same umbrella as the old school. He was in the private school. Oh, I love this stuff, y'all. And so as I stated in the previous video, he could stay at this school um, until he's done, like done, done. And speaking with another teacher there, she said that they have a dual program with Texas a and I'm like, okay. Take that into consideration. Um, and JB, for the first time, he's on a actual school team. He's on the swim team. So they tried out last week. I was a little nervous as girl. They were trying out in 11 feet water. I was like, my baby's barely five feet. What are we doing? But JB can swim. JB has been taking swim lessons since he was three years old. I make sure of that. <clears throat> so anyway, um, he tried out and they said, you know what? We're going to put you with the middle schoolers and high schoolers because even though his technique isn't there, meaning that he's still having a hard time using his arms and girl back backward stroke, or what do you call it? Backstroke girl. He he was just <laughs> I was laughing when they did backstroke. JB just floated on his back. I'm like, baby, you, you that's not backstroke. <laughs> JB was like, the hell with this. Because he's bigger and because he has a lot more stamina, they're gonna put him with the middle schoolers and the high schoolers. And then they'll just work on his actual, you know. On his arms and what he's supposed to do. So, girl, that's all this stuff he has to get. He has to get fins. I'm like, fins? Yeah, so he has to get all this extra stuff. Um, like with any other. Like even if he was in, like, basketball, he have to get a certain type of stuff, right? If he was in football, God forbid. All that stuff you have to get for football. So, I knew that. And so, but maybe the main thing is that he has swim practice three days out of the week. So thank God they have they don't have homework because when the heck he's gonna have time to do that? And swim practice is an hour long. So they get out at three, they go over no, they get out at 3 30, they go over to swim practice, and we stay there from four to five and get home. Baby, he'll be tired. So 
and that's going to be like i said three days out of the week and once a month they have a swim meet i'm excited y'all i'm excited for my baby i really am so besides that um, my husband is leaving those you don't know he works out of state at least um part-time and so he is on his way back out of state this time he's going to oklahoma which is good we will more than likely go visit him um in the middle of october besides that y'all nothing much else is going on besides this damn hair <laughs> yeah just hanging in there y'all it's busy 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 and yeah so what i'm watching on youtube girl oh before i get into all of that uh child usher fans were fit to be tied because at the very last minute he canceled a show and when i tell you there were people in the comments saying i drew, i flew from out of state uh i spent all this money one person said i called in for work first of all don't put that on social media don't 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 do that because we all see it don't don't do that you know a lot of people saying what they did he ended up i think pushing back some dates so usher had a ne neck injury so he turned out he had a neck injury um and so y'all look even though in my opinion usher is young but he's been performing since we were like kids he's like a michael jackson or a prince you know these folks have been performing at his young age quote unquote he's been performing now 30 years so he needs to take a break and that's what he said now perhaps he should have said something sooner perhaps he should have taken a longer break after he did the um super bowl you know we ain't 23 20 you know years old so i know girl they they were upset in those comments but it is what it is you know what i mean look i haven't gone to a concert since trina in 1999 like i'm not even playing i'm actually that's a lot i went to go see joe next <clears throat> was it joe next and someone else um when i was in phoenix we used to do stuff like that but i wasn't expecting nothing okay you, <laughs> nothing at all um i watched tenant again because he's trying as hell and that vampire actor from the twilight he's good with a little color in him so yeah watch tenant child mr beast if those of you don't know mr beast is a very popular youtuber who a lot of his videos was him giving away stuff so he would give away money or he would give away he opened like some restaurant and was giving away chicken sandwiches with a thousand dollars in them you know so he would do stuff like that but apparently he is tied to someone like someone on his team who's a transgender who was reaching out to some underage children i'm not going to go there because i do not want you to flag in my videos and i guess mr beast is taking a, a, a break like that's it so so I, I i didn't even really look into the video but i know that that's what's going on as far as mr beast goes um girl jackie anaya is that how you pronounce her name the well-known content creator influencer as far as makeup and fashion so let me just say this before i go down the rabbit hole of her rabbit hole not hoe the rabbit hole i was key where it was subscribed to jack a no jackie from the beginning i remember when she used to do videos she was overseas what was she at y'all saudi arabia or something she would be in her hotel in her room the white closet would be behind her she would be at a desk or on her bed that's what i mean i was following her then now i have since unsubscribed to her why vivian because she was getting a little she's not weird and there's nothing wrong with being weird because hell that's some stuff that's weird about me she was getting cheesy to me and i couldn't do the cheesy videos because it was cringy and so for me i'm not a person that that will complain and comment on someone's video baby i would just unfollow you and be okay about it so i guess homegirl had a name change she changed her name and she <laughs> girl she has been blocking people left and right apparently she's been blocking people left and right i don't know if she has since she probably has since made a comment 
she's trying to protect her peace. This is my thing. And I'm going to get into some people that make some other comments. This is not the first I've heard of this particular content creator blocking people. Like, I've seen people in, in the comments on her actual videos, whether it be on Instagram or YouTube, stating that she blocked me doing this, she blocked me on this. She and I'm like, why is she blocking people? And is it her or is it the people that are managing her accounts? Because I find it hard to believe that. And maybe she is doing it. Maybe it is her managing her accounts. But sometimes people who are this have this many subscribers, they have other people managing their accounts, but whatever. So people were congratulating her on her marriage which I'm assuming she's married because she changed her name and she started blocking people. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's like, I feel like if she didn't want people to know about it, why did she change the name on that particular platform? Um, we didn't even need to know about that. If you didn't want that to be known. Um, so I just, I just find that very odd. Um, Another person who I was cackling, another girl on Instagram said that she blocked her, meaning Jackie blocked her after she said that this particular subscriber mentioned, she made a comment on Jackie's video. I don't know if it was Instagram or YouTube. She basically said, you know, your style, meaning the decoration, the style of her place, it reminds me of B. Smith. Girl, Jackie blocked her. <laughs> Why would you block her? But B. Smith, y'all, I love B. Smith. B. Smith was like the black version of Martha Stewart. Unfortunately, she passed away from Alzheimer's a couple of years ago. But, and I've heard of other people that say that they've been blocked for saying, you know, just in my opinion, mundane things. I just don't understand why you don't expect people to say something. And when you're on a platform like this and you expose yourself to the masses, you have to have tough skin, y'all. You really do. You have to have tough skin. Maybe she should put, look, there's a way on YouTube you could put certain code words or words that you don't want to see and it will automatically block you. So, Jackie, maybe you should put congratulations as part of your text. You don't, you don't want people to congratulate you, girl. I don't know. But I just think that's odd. I really do. And so, yeah, a lot of the makeup artists besides um, Color Beautiful no longer follow a watch. Um... And sometimes YouTube is just just weird because all of a sudden I won't even get I won't even get their videos and I, I am subscribed to them and I don't get their videos because who was that? I wasn't getting her videos at all. She used to do content for Shari J. Ectoblock, ECTO. I wasn't getting any of her stuff. I wasn't getting any notifications. I wasn't seeing her videos at all. Baby, she had already had, she's had another baby. And I didn't even, I had no idea. I did not know that. So, yeah. Um, another person who is like an influencer, she's on YouTube, she's on <clears throat> Instagram, and I follow her on Facebook. Let me see if I can get her name right. <clears throat> anyway, y'all, um, Nicole Waters. Nicole Waters shared recently. Hold on, y'all. This is Nicole. And I'm pretty sure some of y'all know who she is. This is Nicole. So this is the thing. I was following Nicole when we were on the Big Natural Hair Group when it was popping like eight, nine years ago. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I had her actually act as an actual friend. I was following her and she was always in the comments. And then she started her own business and she blew up. Now, mind you, Nicole's been working in the background for a while. She quit her corporate job to do what she loved. And you have to give her props for that. But baby, look, I was surprised, like everyone else, when she popped up and was like, here's my wedding. And I'm looking at him, I'm like, okay, he's white. The last guy was, the, the, I know her husband was white, but this was not as fluffy as, as well. I'm like, oh, maybe he lost weight. Because, you know, she lost weight. Girl, it's a totally different person. When I tell you I was shocked, I'm going to say this. Say this, excuse me. I'm happy for her. This is why. When you do something, when you move, you move in silence. Now, I believe that Nicole did share that she was going through a divorce years ago. She did say, she didn't mention that. One thing I have to, to admire about her 
She has been quiet. She has been safe about her privacy. Um, and she, I've seen her comments when people have been saying, what, 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 is this a different husband? <clears throat> I've seen her comments in response to her ex. She does not speak ill will about her ex at all. I admire that. I really do. Um, she's very mature. Okay. So baby, yes, she is married to someone else. She has not been with her ex. I think it's gone on four years. Um, she also announced that she's pregnant. This guy looks younger than her, but he may not. He may not. She, I guess she announced the divorce, but it wasn't something that she would continue, continually talk about, which is good. But there are certain videos um, where she did podcasts speaking about the divorce. So it is what it is. I admire Nicole. And one thing that really broke my heart, heart excuse me, is that apparently she mentioned, and I, I saw a comment that she said that, her ex has not seen those kids, those little kids that they adopted, because they adopted three kids. They have not, he has not, excuse me, seen those kids in all this time. That is very heartbreaking to me. And who knows, he may have his own reasons why we don't know. Okay, like we're just, we're just on the sidelines. We don't know. But baby, he's on Instagram too. And he, <laughs> it's not funny. Let me see if I can pull him up. The real Josh Walters. Formerly the husband to Nicole Walters. Officially divorced 5-13-24. So, hmm. May, June, July. I'm not going to be petty. He's saying that they were just officially divorced. She's saying that they haven't been together for four years. So, okay. Child, he is petty as hell. On his previous post, he has a link to Lipstick Alley that's called... He has a... This is petty. Josh, you petty. He has a link to a thread about his ex-wife. Um... I'm gonna have to log in and see what the hell he said. But isn't that crazy? Like he so he's saying that they officially and I get it. People can be separated and officially get divorced. Um, I do think that you can find second love after divorce. I really do think that. I think it's rare because we know the stats when it comes to um divorces, second marriages, excuse me. Um, but I think it still can happen. I really do think it can happen. But show anyway, moving on with that. We girl, we spent a lot of time on that, didn't we? Girl, let's go on. What I'm watching on, um, what I'm watching on TV, y'all. So look, y'all, I saw one clip of something and I'm back to watching The Walking Dead. Now, y'all, I stopped watching this show because I was having nightmares. I mean, I was having nightmares that, you know, uh, they were in the water and I don't know for sure, but I didn't think that the walkers, those are the zombies on The Walking Dead, I didn't think they could walk in the walk in the water. Oh, this is what I saw. I saw a video of a smart zombie, of a smart walker, and I'm like, wait a minute. It was from first season when Rick looked up, and there was a walker that turned around and looked at him, and I was like, what the heck? Now, if I remember correctly, when someone changes, meaning when someone who's a human changes to a zombie, a walker. There's a, a little brief time where they're actually intelligent. And then I guess as the seasons progress, there are some variants of the walkers that are smart. Like I believe one or two use tools, meaning they use a rock. Um, one of them, someone said in one of the later seasons, one of them stabbed someone. I'm like, wait a minute. Wasn't that a whisperer? You you actually picked up a tool and stuff. I'm like, no, we, we ain't got these type of zombies. I don't, I... Girl, I am back to watching Martin. When I tell y'all, it hits differently when you're an adult. I mean, Martin came out when I was a teenager, and it was funny because it was slapstick funny. It was it was physical humor, but a lot of a lot of the stuff, excuse me, I didn't understand because I was a, teen, a teenager. I was what, 15, 16? I didn't get it. But now the shit is funny as hell, right? So I'm looking at it, I'm laughing, and girl, when I tell you my favorite episodes, 
that ain't no damn puppy <laughs> That's that's one of my favorite episodes. Another favorite episode is when um uh they have a competition of who could cook the best Thanksgiving dinner. And um <laughs> Mama and Martin's mama come over and she's like, You still shucking those peas, big face? <laughs> oh my god absolutely hilarious so i love martin y'all besides that the episode where um that damn dog y'all from what i understand i guess martin wanted to use a real dog baby pizza would be all over you i remember looking at some footage where they said that martin initially wanted to use a real dog and so he settled for the um stuffed german shepherd and of course they we all know he was replaying or reacting that popular scene from New Jack City <laughs> and so I mean just to watch the cast break character laugh and especially Tommy uh where Martin was putting that dog I'm like this is too much this is too much and of course see, l looking at bro man from the fifth floor now now I'm a I'm an adult when I was young I was like little bro man some big old rusty look girl no bro man I'm like ooh. Hold on. I'm like, this brother is fine as hell. He's swole. He's a good type of thick. He ain't fat. He's healthy. So what else I'm watching? Um, House of the Dragon. I really, 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 I only watched the first episode. I need to get a gray wig or something to get in character. Y'all, I mean, I, look, I know this is weird, but sometimes I be want to at least kind of dress up like the person or eat. For example, when I watch 600 Pound Life, I eat with them. Like, first of all, I fix my plate. I have it down there, and I'm eating with them. I know that's I know that's crazy, but I be eating looking at 600 Pound Life, and I feel bad for them. I be crying when they talking about they hungry, and they I'm like, you are hungry, cause you had like five Big Macs early. You hungry still? Shit, I'm hungry too for you. So yeah, I be watching that and eating. So I need my gray wig to watch. Oh, or a gray wig to watch House of Dragon. Y'all know I'm silly. I love any type of period type of piece series. So I really, really, really wanted to get into Anne with an E. I love the music in Anne with the E. Hell, I'm trying to learn the one classical music because we have a, a little keyboard piano here. And I was actually learning. the Girl, anyway, I got into the first episode. The main character was talking so damn much. And I know that's part of her her character is to be talkative. Mm, excuse me. So y'all couldn't do it. So um that's it, y'all. Oh, another real quick. Another person I was watching on YouTube, Shima. <laughs> y'all know Shima, old school, OG Shima. I want all of you guys to have long tail, long fairy tale hair. <laughs> I love Shima. Now Shima is the good weird. I love I absolutely love her positive, optimistic attitude, easy go. I love those type of people. I really do. It is what it is. But I watched some of Shima's videos and I just love her. I love her accent. I love her personality and I adore her. So y'all, that is it. I'm gonna go in here down this drink and I'm actually gonna start editing this video. So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care. Bye.